It's been more than a month since the horrific gang rape and murder of Delhi's Braveheart. And today, Justice Chairs Verma Committee has submitted its recommendations to the Home Ministry regarding keeping the city and the country safe for women. Let's now listen in to Justice Verma himself, who's speaking at the moment at the Gyan Bhavan. Including police and armed personnel, certain statutory presumptions must apply under Section 114A of the Evidence Act, 1872. Every complaint of rape must be registered by the police and civil society should perform its duty to report any such case. Reporting, that was the general strain of what was said, that most of them are not reported and those rep tried to be reported are not recorded. And any officer who fails to register a case of rape reported to him or attempts to abort its investigation commits an offense which shall be punishable as prescribed. We have also taken into account offenses of eat teasing, voyeurism, stalking, as well as sexual assault and unsolicited sexual contact. Contact, because these are the things which degenerate into graver offenses. A special procedure for protecting persons with disabilities from rape. That is also something which is come to our notice as very common. And requisite procedures for access to justice for such persons. Then the protocols for medical examination of victims of sexual assault. Now, that is something after the assault, which is one crime, they suffer further humiliation at every stage. Not only medical examination, in trial, etc., etc. So, we try to, you see, take advice from global experts in the field. A protocol has been prepared on the basis of that. It's not merely the physical aspect, it's the, the, the psychological aspect. There are so many other things which are required. So we have tried to frame a protocol which we expect, if it is uniformly practiced and implemented, that's going to make a lot of difference. Then the insensitivity of the police to deep deal with rape victims is well known. The police respect a patriarchal form of society that actually is one of the that's major cause, and have been unable to deal with extraordinary cases of humiliation and hardship caused by khap panchas, as is evident from various judgments of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court judgments alone indicate what is the actual position and the apathy towards that. And you see, and that's why we said police reforms, as directed by the Supreme Court, they need to be implemented without any delay. It is settled law that every policeman is bound to obey the law and any order of a superior officer which is contrary to law is no defense for his illegal action which may be a punishable offense. You see, very often the alibi is of orders of superior but that's never a defense. Actually in 1968 there were two very important decisions. One an English decision of Lord Denning and the other was the Supreme Court. Abhinandan Jha. you see, and which have been followed and in subsequent cases as well, which clearly say that the, every policeman is bound to perform the statutory duty as directed by the law and not as directed by, by any superior. And the superintendence which the superiors have is not in respect of the conduct, investigation, etc. of a particular offense. Any, accordingly, any political interference or extraneous influence in the performance of a statutory duty by a policeman cannot be condoned. Now this principle has to be clearly understood. Then authentic figures of missing children in India are not available for obvious reasons of the complicity of law enforcement agencies. Now, Without uh, anything more, the mere fact that the incumbent Chief Justice of India has had no hesitation to speak about it goes to show how much, you see, people are concerned about it. And therefore, the government's apathy towards that, that lethargy has to be shaken off. And that is where the civil society, the process which has begun, I think is a very happy augury. The pressure must be kept on. So our report includes the testimony. This is very important. 
we would urge you to read that. It is difficult to be to able to read it without be, becoming emotional or being affected by it. Those children, I mean, verbatim, what they have said in their own language is annexed to the report. Please read it. And see, that is just one sample of what blacks or thousands of children are going through. Now, unless we control that, how are you going to deal with the bigger problem? That's that's the genesis. You have to. So, I mean, that's a very that that was very touching, and that that's in short what I can say. Every this is a gesture committee. As a matter of fact, in the case of one of those children, well, what the committee could do, Gopal forbids me from giving further details. You see, the committee at its own expense, I mean, we are not trying to say that we have done something worthwhile. It's only citizenship duty. One child it undertook to ensure that its unpaid wages were paid and assurance for all the future needs of the children, including education. Now that is the state responsibility for every child. This is the minimum which the committee could do. But we hope, I mean, this will at least motivate the government to do that for as many children as they can. Every district magistrate is responsible for carrying out a census of missing children. This is so important. Every missing child, you see, what what happens to that child, and but and how can this happen without the connivance of those who are responsible for protecting the children? I mean, that's the citizens of India. I mean, that that's something very. Now, having regard to the apathy shown by the district magistrates and the police in the matter of missing children. This is important. Evident from advisories issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs as late as on 30th January 2012. This issue needs immediate attention. I am told, that's what we are informed, that the first item in the agenda of the meeting of the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi is missing children. And, and you would be <laughs> amused. <laughs> I mean, that's the... <laughs> most neutral word that I can use. Someone who is supposed to know about a senior police officer approaches someone in the committee. What is... Justice Varban there uh, outlining the recommendations that have been made in the committee report that have been submitted to the Home Ministry. Remember, he comes down heavily on the police saying that uh, because they do not register cases of women in cases of rape, they take it lightly. It is known to the police and administration and that is why there has been a rise in crimes against women.